Shalom. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the house of David the elect, the men that are doing His work in sincerity and truth, and those fellow believers out there to you all. I say Shalom and greetings. This is Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, and give him no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. All right. So I was meditating on this, obviously, because now, you know, doing the uh, videos uh, daily. Right. Um, this is a this scripture is prophetic right now. OK, you know, we, we we read through these scriptures and we know, like, uh, you know, prophecy has to come to pass and all these things. But this scripture just came to life with uh, the spirit moving on Apostle Har having us do these lessons because he says, I've set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. So these men that love the Lord. All right. They're going to be, you know, we used to say use this as an uh you know, their brothers here, their brothers across seas, their brothers in this country and that country. So we're never holding our peace. But now it's a literal thing, man. Hey, and um, uh, let me see if I can. I'm going to come back to that, that verse because I'm not finished on that. But I just thought about a scripture that's in Revelations. Uh, maybe it's the fifth chapter, you know, but th this is, is now real life, man. This is no longer a, a, a matter to just put off and do as we please okay maybe it's in the seventh chapter con that's uh revelation 7 and um 15 it says there are they before the throne of the most high and serve him day and night in his temple and he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them okay we know that's when the when the kingdom is going to come but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, that's the elect. The elect are going to be ones uh, praising Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. And there's a there's another one in here where it talks about, uh, the, you know, the, the uh, basically the angels that are in the heavens and they give glory to the Lord. Right. And they they they're constantly in his habitation. You know, they're singing. Holy, holy, holy. All right. Matter of fact, let me just grab that. This is Revelation four and eight. It says, and the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord power almighty, how about Shem Shai, which was and is and is to come. And when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who liveth forever and ever. All right. So you got the uh, archangels and you have the angels giving praises to the Lord. It said, who don't rest day and night. All right. So that's that's what they do. They give praise to the Lord. And so now that's what we're doing through the spirit. OK, of course, we go to sleep at night. But now your mind is constantly thinking about how about Shemir Asha? It was before, but now it's on a dip. It's been heightened. It's been elevated to a new level to where you're thinking about the Lord. You're thinking about a lesson. You're thinking about how to, uh, you know, rip open Babylon with the words of how about Shemir Asha, how to find the wickedness in this place, how to glorify our Lord. OK, it says, uh. Going back to Isaiah 62 and 6, it says, Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. All right? We that make mention of the Lord, the name of the Lord and his doctrine. All right? Keep not silence. So that's why we're doing this thing every day now, man. All right? We're 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 up here to glorify our Lord and we're up, we're doing these things to prophesy and to bring Babylon down. This is truly hastening the day. Okay, we are talking about hastening the day. This is hastening the day by having the elect, the hopeful elect glorifying the Lord. All right, this is hastening the day. It says, and give him no rest till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Don't give him no rest. All right, we're not letting up on Yahweh, man. All right, through the spirit. You know, we mean that in all righteousness and sincerity. Okay, because now these, these supplications are constantly going up unto the Lord, man, on a regular basis. Every day from brothers, man, we're crying out. We're crying out. Oh, Lord, how long? We're crying out. Lord, save us. Lord, deliver us. Ain't no days off. Ain't no time for you to say, I'll do a lesson in a couple days or, you know, when I get around to it or before camp hit. Now the Lord is, is, 
is girding up our spirits to do this daily, man. And this prophecy is now coming to life. It says, and give him no rest to establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in earth. So that's when we'll let up, man. You know, the apostles are not going to, you know, through the spirit, you know, I speak as a man, but also you can kind of know it to be true. The Lord, he's not going to uh, get lighten up on this. He's not going to say eventually like, all right, y'all, let's go back to three videos a week. That's not going to happen. All right. This thing is set in stone now and it's moving forward. So we're not going to give him no rest till he established and he make this children of Israel, the so-called blacks, Native Americans and Hispanics. And oh, those are the speckled bird that are scattered abroad until he makes us um, a praise in the earth until he brings uh, Jerusalem, the holy city. All right. The Israelites back to our rightful spot as being the keys, kings and priests under um, under Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And that that's what we're praying for, man. That's what we're hoping for. That's that's our hope and that's our salvation. That's our expectation. You know, let me go to uh, Psalm 71. It's good to see scriptures come to life, man. You know, prophet. That's what prophecy is, man. Now we're seeing another prophecy take hold. And, uh, you know, what other groups are doing this? OK, hey, man, you can scoff and you can say whatever you want. You can hate. You can talk smack. You know, we know that's their lots. But you can't tell me Great Millstone doesn't have the prophets, man. All right. The, the sincerity from these men, the loyalty and dedication from these men to the Lord is unparalleled, man. This is Psalm 71 and 14. It says, but I will hope continually and will yet praise thee more and more. OK, you know, and I brought that verse out the other day and Baruch uh, is like 27 or 33, where it says, um, and you, it was your mind to go astray from the Lord. But now being returned, seek him 10 times more. Hey, man, we got to seek the Lord more. We got to show the Lord now. He's showing us. He gave us all these things back. So now we got to show him our love and uh, loyalty to him to let us know how badly we want salvation. All right. How badly we want to serve him. This is Psalm 74 and 23. I started 22. It says, uh, arise, O Yahweh, plead thine own cause. Remember how the foolish man reproaches thee daily. Forget not the voice of thine enemies, the tumult of those that rise up against thee increaseth continually. So we're getting more scoffers. We're getting more haters. The, you know, like brothers was just talking about, we get uh, the wicked don't stop. The wicked don't take a day off. You know what I said? They, they wake up on their beds trying to be wicked, man. So if that's the case, that means we have to wake up on our beds trying to be righteous. All right. And glorifying the Lord. He says, uh, send, arising early and sending his prophets. Okay, well, that's the spirit we need to be in, man. All right, this is Psalms 40 and 16. It says, let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee, glad in thee. Let such as thy love, let such as love thy salvation say continually, the Lord be magnified. You see that? So what, what we're doing is to, we're magnifying the Lord. All right, we're putting a scope on him. We're, we're lifting up his name. All right, Sirach, uh 17 and 10 says, and the elect shall praise his holy name, man. All right. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're praising his holy name. We're standing stiffly for that name. All right. And now we're doing more on a higher level, pushing out a higher vibration. So uh, Babylon can crumble. This is second Ezra 15 and eight. Uh, I started seven. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. And hey, I just realized this scripture is coming to life too. This is prophecy. He will hold his tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Now the Lord is completely unveiling, like uh, releasing the men of the Lord. You know, when uh, you read about Ezra, when he was uh, oh, that's a chapter before. Um, uh, sec, let me jump over this real quick. Second Ezra, fourteen, and um, and forty one. Actually, 40. And I took it and drank. And when I drank of it, my heart uttered understanding and my wisdom grew in my breast for my spirit strengthened my memory and my mouth was opened and shut no more. You see that? So just like Ezra was, you know, our, our, our minds and our spirits are open and shut no more, giving glory to the Lord. OK, it says the highest gave understanding to the five men and they wrote the wonderful visions of the night that were told, which they knew not. And they sat 40 days and they wrote in the day and, the, and at night they ate bread. As for me, I spake in the day. I held not my tongue by night. You see that? 
So that that's what the Lord has got us doing. You know, there are days you're going to do your videos early. There are days you're going to do your videos midday. There are days you're going to do your videos at night. But there are brothers out crying out to the Lord throughout the day, man. Okay, on a daily basis. Second as just 15 and 8. I will hold I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. You see that? So the Lord said, All right, the souls of the just complain continually. Lord willing, we'll be the, those uh, righteous souls, man. But now we're complaining continually. All right? You had a time before, you're like, all right, you know, you're going to complain three times this week. You know, obviously, you know, we're not talking about prayer and things like that. But uh, your, your lessons. You know, all right, I'm going to complain three times this week. All right, the Lord put the spirit on me to bring sing up some praises and complain four or five times this week. You know, but now he got us doing this every day, man. Like this is of you being a spirit, walking in the spirit. So now this is not only going to um, give more glory to the Lord, but it's also going to help you in your daily walk. It's also going to help you realize like, hey, keep your mind on the prize. Focus on your how about Shemya Rashad. All right. The elect are going to keep their mind state and keeping their eye, uh, keeping their eye single. OK, the scriptures talk about keeping your eye single, man, and our eye is single on the, the our Lord. And on salvation and on the destruction of Babylon, man. You know, the, the elect are getting fed up with this place, man. Are fed up with this place. Uh, this is uh, about, uh, you know, uh, old Babylon, but it's still a nice verse. It's uh, Isaiah 21 and 8. And he cried a lion, my Lord. I, and he cried a lion, my Lord. I, I stand continually upon the watchtower in the daytime and I am setting my ward whole nights. You see that? So, hey, at the end of the day, we constantly being on our uh, watch, man. Daytime, nighttime. And now we're at, we're giving the Lord no rest, man. We're not letting up through the spirit. All right. And now we're only uh, invigorating one another. I'm, I'm realizing, you know, now we got all of these lessons coming out. But I'm like, now I'm trying to, you know, uh, brothers are making slightly shorter lessons, making more concise to the point. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm seeing more brothers put up videos. You know, every now and then you might miss brothers videos because it'd be videos coming out. You might, you know what I'm saying? But now I'm seeing, I'm seeing brothers on a whole different level. Brothers, you may have forgot you were subscribed to, you know, you're like, man, it's a beautiful thing taking place right now. And this is Daniel 12 and four. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. And see, knowledge is being increased now, man. All right. Because the words of the book ain't sealed no more. So it's just like, this is a good book. It's called the good book. You know, but when you get a, you know, for those brothers who are ever readers out there, like, you know, before reading the Bible, I used to actually read a, read a lot of worldly books. Not really as much anymore because the, they don't seem to hold the same amount of sustenance from me as the Bible does. But nonetheless, when you get into a good book, you like, you just want to keep reading. You just want to keep reading. You want to go and go and go. You know, times when you put the book down, you're like, damn, I can't wait to read the next part. You know, it says, it says, many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. We're seeking the Lord, man. And that knowledge is being increased because he says in the last days, uh, wickedness shall be increased as well. All right. Um, I got uh, three more verses I want to get. This is Psalm 34 and one. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. You see that? So every day now you go, you got to uh, do a lesson for the Lord. All right. The Lord, the Lord got us, man. And he's showing us the way to salvation. All right. And the apostles are going in the Hebrews, the 13th chapter, but I'm going to jump to the 15th verse. I think they spoke about like the, the, uh, oh no, Salakia. This is Hebrews, Hebrews 13 and 15. It says, I started 14, but here have we no continuous city, but we seek one to come. We're seeking the kingdom of heaven. And by doing these lessons, we're doing so by him. Therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to the most high continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name man. the fruit of our lips, man, doing these works. All right. Giving glory to the Lord's name man. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, that he may be glorified, man, you know, and that he may see us and that may he, he may hear our hear our cries, man. You know, you want, you should want the most high to hear your cries. And that's what we're doing now as a body. This is Deuteronomy 32 and one give ear. O ye heavens. And I will speak and hear O earth, the words of my mouth. 
My doctrine shall drop as the rain. My speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. Because I will publish the name of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, ascribe ye greatness unto our power. He is the rock. His work is perfect for all the ways are judgment, a God of truth and without iniquity, just and right is he. You see that, man? So, hey, call all Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, because his doctrine is dropping like rain now, man. Continually, you know, he you, when you go out the scripture say, can a man uh count the rain? You know, so when you go outside, you're getting hit with rain, it's, it's hitting you from all angles, left, right, up, down, wind blowing, and that's how his doctrine is coming, man. And he's he's preserved us to give us his word, and now we're going to glorify him on a, on a much mightier level because Babylon is crumbling, man. All right, it's crumbling, and we pray that the the south the destruction of this place be soon, and our salvation is nigh, man. All right. Uh, but remember, brothers, our salvation is nearer than when we believed. All right. So it, it may be closer than you even think, man. We'd be like, oh, yeah, it might be 2021, might be 2022. You know, hey, if, if it's up to the will of the Lord, it could be 2020, man. You don't know. So our salvation is nearer than when we believe. So, hey, keep praising the Lord. Don't give him no rest, man. Don't let up on the Lord in righteousness, man. So with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakhakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the house of David, the elect. Until next time, Shalom.